Good evening guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charles of the End Lights Diaries. Today I'm going to be teaching you a video tutorial on how to make a form using the Google Doc. First thing that you have to do, you must have a Google account, a Gmail account. So if you don't have, you better create your Gmail account or your Google account for you to be able to access Google Docs. So there you have it. In my case, I already have one. So all I have to do is watch for my procedure and how to make use of the Google Docs. So first, you have to go into your Google account or your Gmail account. And then there is an icon over here. These are actually the Google applications. Okay, so if you're going to click on it, you will see a lot of icons there. You see account, search, maps, YouTube, play, news, Gmail, meet, contacts, drive, calendar, translate, photos, tool, and shopping. So in my case, since we'll be doing a tutorial on making a form, we have to choose this one docs alongside with the docs you have sheets slides books hangouts or whatsoever and google classroom we're going to make use of the google docs for us to be able to make a survey so click on the docs when you click the google docs you will see this environment page template gallery so if you're going to make a resume you may click on here there are actual ready-made templates for whatever forms you're going to make so on my case I want to use a blank sheet, a blank page. So I just have to click on the blank. Then you will see this one. This is an untitled document since you clicked on the blank icon. So since this is an untitled document, make a new form of a survey, then all you have to do is to click on the file. So here it is. So you will see file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, add-ons and help so in this case you have to click on the file then this will pop in so as you can see there are choices share new open make a copy forget about those because you need to click on new okay new then you will find document from template spreadsheet presentation form and drawing so since we'll be making form just click on the form then just wait for it to pop in okay so there you have it here will be your environment so there as you can see this environment right over here untitled form so you have to start the process of making your survey form or whatever you want to make maybe a questionnaire a quiz or whatsoever so in this case i'll be making a survey since it's the start of classes and those who are enrolled in my class i have to get some information about them probably i'm gonna make use of pupils information because i want to retrieve personal information of my students so just have to write there pupils information say so for example my class grade six for example grade three for example rows okay, school year 2022-2021 i want to retrieve information personal information of my pupils who are enrolled in my class currently for the school year 2020 to 2021 so i'm gonna put their pupils information grade 3 rows school year 2020 2021 so in your case if you have a different a purpose of why you're going to make survey or any other you feel free to customize then after customizing the title of the form then you can do so here just have to click it and then the untitled form will be shifted to a titled one below the title you will find form description so what about this form description you can write anything about the survey or about a quiz or whatever document you're trying to do you can write the description here so for instance in my case um i would write this survey gathers information of the pupils enrolled in grade three rows something like that you can also write the procedure and what you're supposed to do with a form so now you are done with the title so writing the title or choosing the title for your survey or for your document next thing that you have to do is to proceed to the questions so you can see here on the next tab untitled question so just click on it 
entitled question and then this will appear say for instance i need to include her name we have to write their name it's up to you if you want to write their what is your name or anything you want to but in my case i just want to write name let them write their last name first followed by their first name and middle name or middle initial if you want it okay so something like that you can make use of you can have it enclosed in parentheses then just write last name first name middle name so if you want if you want a first name to be the first one then you may do so now how about the answer so of course they need to write their answer you don't have to use multiple choice or whatsoever to check boxes or whatever so since they're going to specify their name there are choices that you make that you have to make use here there are choices that you can make use here say for instance on in my case i'm gonna i'm gonna let them write their full name so i will just use this short answer but if you want them to write a paragraph maybe you have written a question that requires a paragraph requires them to write a paragraph then or a long answer you can just write you can just choose this paragraph but in this case since they're just going to specify their name their full name and it's just very short so you just have to choose short answer so next question say for instance the icons in the right part of the right panel of your you can press the icon for the duplicate or you can press add question if you want to make it new okay so since i, I want to know their birthday so i'm gonna write their birthday for instance since you're looking for a birth date you may just choose date right over here how about the age for example so so in my case i have in a grade three class probably i might have pupils who are seven years of age click add other other option i mean then eight yeah mostly or there are some cases that I have nine students who are nine years old and then other. Just do with the rest. Or let's make use of this paragraph. Okay, so what if I want my students to answer in a form of a paragraph? Yes, in a form of a paragraph. So it's just the same. You just have to take the same procedure. Click on the add question right over here. Then write your question. So here is the question. Say for instance, you want your pupils to answer your question in the form of a paragraph. So you want to see if your students can express their thoughts through writing paragraphs. So you may want to write a question right over here. What do you want to become in the future and why? You need to choose paragraph so that there will be enough spaces that, that your pupils can make use when they write their answer or when they expand their answer to your question okay so that's it assuming that we are done with our questionnaire with our survey or with our quiz or whatever document we're making so if you want to see the outcome of your work then you may just click on the preview icon it's located in the top right of your working pane so it's right over here beside customize theme Okay, in between the customized theme and the settings so right over here so click on it and then you will see how it looks like on the part of the student okay here so if you have given them the link this will appear okay, how about if you want to make it more creative you want to add some pictures or images click on the customized theme you will find the theme options so for the header you can make use of an image so you can upload your own picture click on choose image and then select header so you have here themes you just have to choose appropriate themes that is related to what you're doing so in my case a picture or an image that is related to work and school so here here are some of the images that are available here on google docs which are related to work and school so just click on the photo or click on the image and then you will see it so for the font style there are choices here basic decorative formal playful so you're done with it since you're done customizing you've seen it already through the preview icon let's click on the setting so if you want let them to see summary charts and text responses you may do so okay so after that you may click save you are done with everything 
you just have to click the send button. Finally, all you have to do is to copy the link and send to your students. Just click on the encircled icon. So that's it. With just simple steps, or a very easy procedure in how to make an online survey or form or whatever, quiz, whatever you want. It's very easy. Just have to follow the procedure. So till our next video tutorial, this is Charles of the Endlights Diaries. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.